How you doing? My name is Bobby Kay. I'm a professional landscape designer and general contractor. In this video, I'm gonna show you a backyard that has been completely transformed by addressing three common problems that I see most homeowners have when it comes to an outdoor space. I'm also gonna share the overall cost, one major mistake that I want you to avoid that I see a lot of homeowners make, and we're gonna to get to hear from our client, Kenny, who drops some serious concerns when it comes to hiring a contractor and how his experience with us was much different. So, if you like backyard renovation projects, hit the subscribe button, Let's get into it. Okay, so uh, when I was first called out to meet with Kenny, it was pretty obvious why I was there. The patio was pretty outdated. The space was outdated. Uh, the patio was starting to sink. It was cracked in a couple places. He had stamp colored concrete, which I always recommend against because over time it is going to shift and move and crack. I mean, concrete is gonna crack. There's no way around it. And then, what was really bizarre was the patio was elevated in the air. I, I, I know that uh, the initial builder was trying to address some great issues, but he should have addressed it by adapting the lawn or at least stepping the patio down a little bit more because it made it really dangerous where you could step off at any point and slip and fall. And that's always a bad idea when you're hosting gatherings and it just opens up opportunity for those you don't know too well to, uh, you know, maybe have a lawsuit, which is extreme, but it happens. So you wanna make sure that things are installed properly. We also wanted to create something that not only checked off all the boxes for Kenny's wish list, but improves the aesthetic appeal of the space, increased the overall value of the property, creating a more functional yet enjoyable outdoor space for entertaining, relaxing, recreation, and then adding features such as outdoor lighting, a fireplace, or even that built-in kitchen where it increases the usability of the space and it just makes it much more versatile. So the second thing that I noticed when I was out there was the fact that there's no trees, there's absolutely no shade. And you can only imagine in the summertime when you got full blown sun going down on this, how uncomfortable and hot it's gonna be out there. So it, it's one of those conversations where it's like, well, we can create all this beautiful space, but are you really gonna get all four seasons out of it? Because it's gonna be uncomfortable. When I was speaking with Kenny, when we got a little bit more into the details, we talked about a backyard structure. Now this could be a pergola, a gazebo, a patio cover. They can all add value to the home in, in lots of different ways. You know, these can increase the usability of the outdoor space. They allow people to enjoy it for long periods of time without being exposed to, of course, the sunlight. It can also provide additional space for entertaining or relaxing, which can be especially valuable for homes with limited outdoor living space. And then shade structures can also protect outdoor furniture. You know, fabrics and other materials fade and deteriorate during long periods exposed to the sun. And finally, in most cases, adding an outdoor structure will increase the property value and increase the overall square footage of the home. Nowadays, when you walk into a backyard, people expect it. You know, it's like the turnkey kind of thing. If you go and look at a house and it's beautiful on the inside and you step out onto a cracked patio, it's gonna turn buyers off. It's The outdoor living space is definitely an extension of the home. And it's something that you should take into consideration when you're justifying and thinking about, do I really wanna spend this money? Because it absolutely will add value. And the final aspect of the backyard was creating multiple destinations. If you don't want to be under the structure and say lounging and watching TV, it's pretty cool to have another destination where you can be out and barbecue, have outdoor dinners, do all this other stuff. So it adds a lot of value to Kenny and his family. It might be something you for sure want to consider when you're putting something together. And then finally, it can save you money. Eating out can be expensive, and cooking at home can save you money in the long run. With an outdoor kitchen, you can enjoy home-cooked meals in the comfort of your home. Obviously, 
anybody knows who's cooking chicken or burgers or steak, the grill is where it's at, at least for me, because I'm not a very good cook at all. But when I go to my backyard and I throw some stuff on there and I come in, my kids actually eat it. They're four and two. Try getting a four-year-old and a two-year-old to eat something. But with an outdoor kitchen with that barbecue, it makes me look like a pro. I throw a little seasoning on it, you know, I do whatever I can to get out of it. But uh, it, it really is a, a cool selling point to not only a home, but to your family's enjoyment and entertaining. So me and, me and Corey were looking for a space where we could be outside, um, obviously with, with our lot um, backing up to woods. Um, it's something that we enjoy being outside, um, but one is something that um, would provide shade, provide a little cover. Um, so we were connected with, with Bobby and his team um, with kind of an idea. And then through some drawings um, uh, electronically, he was able to put together uh, something that we liked and, and we're able to move forward on. So from the very beginning, the communication was was excellent. Um, from you know the first call with Bobby and putting together the plans uh, through the computer to to executing it, you know from you know from demolition to final product. Uh, honestly, it could not have been any better. Um, you know, with COVID and, and today's world of supply chain issues and whatnot, you know all you hear are are the horror stories of 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 contractors, you know, giving them deposits, not, you know, not showing up, never hearing from them, you know, after, after you kind of signed, like, honestly, it could not have been any different. You know, every time, call, text, you get a response back within seconds, minutes at the most. Um, always willing to work with you if there was a change. Again, always willing to work with you. Um, his crew showed up every day. Um, honestly, even in the rain, they would show up. So, yeah, I can't, can't speak any any highly or, or better you know for him his business his crew um, the whole thing it was it was perfect you know what Kenny said was so true I think that a lot of homeowners and you may be one where they're they're nervous they're nervous about shelling out a bunch of money for a big outdoor space project and I completely get that contractors can get a bad rap and what you heard from Kenny was the opposite of course what I want you to learn from what he said isn't oh, how great our company is and what we did for him. What I want you to do is learn from what he said and, and realize that communication seemed to be at the hub and the forefront of what was important to him, how he would call in or text and I would respond literally within seconds or minutes and that's very true. I did every time, that's how I handle my business. But what's important to you when hiring a contractor? Is it communication, which is probably gonna be right up there? Is it um, the quality of the work, which is gonna be right up there? The point is, when you are entertaining working with someone, feel them out, see what's important, see what resonates with you. So let's get into how much this costs. Now, to keep this professional and out of respect to Kenny, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much he paid, but for a project like this with an outdoor fireplace and the roof extension and the patio and the kitchen, depending on the market, you're gonna be anywhere, I would say between 85 to $110,000. Now that comes with, is there a Sono system? What kind of lighting options? Um, the masonry on the fireplace, some stone is more expensive than others. Maybe you're going modular block. There's a lot that factors in, but be ready to shell out, I would say at least 85 to one, 110, 115. I know that's a big range, but uh, that's what it takes to do this and, and do this well by someone who knows what's up, takes care of you as a client and, and does their job right, okay? So the final thing I wanna share is one of the biggest mistakes and misses that I see homeowners take on when they take on a project like this is of course not getting a design that is a big no-no make sure you get everything laid out by a professional designer if you need help i'm happy to help you with that but know what you're paying for and what it's going to look like prior that's the first thing the second thing is with this outdoor fireplace and vibe and the ceiling and everything that went in that came very much from the inside of the home the inside of the home had a lot of those kind of rustic, modern vibe. And we wanted to take that and bring it to the outside. So what I want you to do for sure 
is make sure that you take your inside style and bring it to the outside. I'm not saying you can't have a different vibe on the outside, but take elements from the inside so it has a cohesive vibe. It's really, really important, not only for how it's going to look, but if you ever go to sell the home, it, it's like the extension of the home that we talked about that adds value. By adding the aesthetics that are cohesive and it's the same thing, it adds value to the overall project, house, everything. So make sure you don't fall into the mistake of not doing that, okay? You know, this was pretty fun. Had a good time. Let's do it again. Go watch this video right here. This is another backyard space that I know you're gonna enjoy and there's lots of cool tips in there that are gonna help you when making decisions when you're ready to tackle that outdoor project. This is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. I'll see you on the next video.